So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can implement IAP or in-app purchase with the latest version of Google Play service IAP extension that Duo Games provide for us. So if you go down, the last version was released at August 25 of 2021. We will create an app, a button. When they click the button, they can buy the product you want. And you can see it show the name, it show the, the price, it show the currencies that they are buying and the name and you can show it wherever you want. So if you click one tab and you can see that it's the gold that they buying will be added to their account. So without any further ado, let's begin. Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can implement IAP or in-app purchase in your Game Maker project. So for that, let's just create a new project of Game Maker language. Let's call it in-app purchase. First thing to do, we should go to marketplace and open it. Of course, you should be signing to, to use this search for IAP. So in here you can see that it, there is an extension and there is an object in here. I did create this object so it will make it easy for you to implement in a purchase. So it's like all the paid version but it's free and it's using this extension as well. It, this extension is in this as well. So just click on this and you can see that you should see my name in here this is the updated version and just add it to your account and after you add it just go to game maker go to my library refresh it i think it's on the other yeah this in-app purchase iap updated by navid rst and download it and now you can import it to your project what you need is this extension after that you need an this object the, this object btn is button for testing so you don't need that of course you have button in your game or you have a sprite when they click on it you want them to buy something right so you need this object you don't need this obg button but you can uh, use it if you want it and you don't need this room so don't click it you don't need the sprite uh, you have your sprite of course so for testing I add this sprite to my project to show you how you can create object off of this sprite so click add so you can see I add this extra Google Play billing extension we add objects we don't need this object so we can remove it we you need this object a IAP and I add this as part for testing so import it and now everything is set up and we can write code for it let's just go to a room open it and add this object to your room you can see that we have the extension right over here it's the updated version of IAP in yo yo marketplace so so let me explain this object in here there is a create event you should first go here and you can see the step one is to add your id of the product that you want your user to buy so i did create three product here one is bronze one is silver and one is gold so you if you don't see my last video about in-app purchase please watch it i did explain it how to create these products in your developer console so please watch it first and you can see how you can create this product and this id you know that it's most important to write this id correctly because uh, the extension use this id to receive the that product information if you have another just another 
product just copy and paste this here increment its index to 3 you can see it was 0 1 2 3 and paste the ID in here not name not description not price but ID ID is important in here so after after you add this you can see that we have four products in here so we should set this variable in here to four it's for how many product you have so you add four but in this case i have three products so i leave it at three so that's it for step one for step two you should go to async in a purchase event and in here you can see that i create this step two comment in here so you can find it fast this is where the client bought your product and in this statement you should add the money that you promised to them so in here i said you can see that global.iap purchase id zero that is for bronze when they buy, buy this they get 100 gold so you can you can add the gold in here and if they buy iap purchase id one that is silver they, you should uh, in this case i want to give them one one thousand gold so you get the idea how it works and this is for step two if you, if you have like another product just copy and paste here and paste it in here and you have number three and you can just add like ten thousand gold to them but in this case i have just these three so i will delete this so that's it for step two so for step three you should go to game option go to android and in this you should uh, write correct version of your game that you uploaded to your developer console account in my case it's version 105 and in the package domain package company and package product should be the same as you, as the one that you upload to your developer console so please watch my last video about iap and in a purchase so in in this case is mopco and for the game is tank battle and what you should do next just go to architecture and select all of them so everybody can install your game on their phone next thing to do you should go to packaging and in this packaging you should paste the global license licensing public key that you get from your developer console account so i did show you how you can do that in my last video please watch that it's so much important i will add this uh, later of course so after that you hit OK and step 3 is finished. Now for step final, step 4. So I want to create object in here. Let's call it OBG button. Let's give it this sprite in here. And in here I want to give it an event of left most pressed. So that's it. Let's get rid of this comment. First thing to do in here, we should say if GP billing is not connected, just exit of this event. Okay, so it should be connected in this OBG IAP in create. If you go down, you should you see that I emitted and after that i say gp billing connect to the store so it will be connected to the store so after this we should we should say gp billing and go down to purchase product and when they click on this button what do you want them to purchase just i can copy and paste one of these in here i wanna i want them to buy like bronze just copy and paste this in here and with that line of code they when they click on this button in here they will buy our 
product number zero that is bronze okay so that's it now let's just go to room and add this button to our room no i can run it on our phone so now that everything is set up let's just select the android in here and the device that i want to run it to and that's it we can now compile it and install it on our android phones so i have an emulator here that we can run it on here so the thing that you should know in here you should sign in with your with your google account that you added to your uh, registered emails list so they can buy your product with the test card that they they provide for us so please watch my last video uh, it's all about uh, how you can set up your google developer console account to have product uh, to have all registered email to so they can buy and test your product so now you can see that it's up and when we click in here we can buy the product the product that we set in here is bronze when we click it and the 100 gold should be added yeah 100 gold was added so that's let's just change this to like uh, product number two that is gold and run it again so now that it's run if you click on it you can see that it says gold and the price is here and we can buy it 5000 gold was added so that's okay before we stop the video i, I should explain this that you should uh, the version uh, the game maker version of 580 it's uh, there is a bug in it that is not working with any extension at all so uh, you should wait until the version reach 581 or you can use version 574 that i'm using in here so before we stop the video i want to show you something else if you go to this obg iap event and in a, below a step one you can see i get the iap names iap price iap currency code and uh, the description of each product and you can use it in your game so i want to show you let's say how you can get the name of the product that uh, you want your user to buy so let's just go to our button let's just get rid of all of these and in here let's just create a create a create event and in here i want to make it bigger so i want to say image x scale 3 so the scale will be multiplied by 3 so uh, after that let's just create a draw in here get rid of all of this comment and in draw i want to say first draw yourself draw yourself and after that i want to draw text so i want to say draw text I want to use transform for x and y just x and y the button is more than enough and for the text you can see the for the string i want to use this global variable that i did create it and get the all the information uh, from google developer console so let's just copy this paste it here and you see that when they click on here they buy they they are buying uh, the pro the product number two that is gold okay and in the draw i want to show the name of product number two so that makes sense right so for the x scale i want to say three and for y scale 3 so you can see it right and for the angle 0 is good so f because we are drawing a text i want it i want it to be at the middle of our sprite so i say draw set 
realign to FR center so it will be at the center for vertical and no draw set horizontal align and I want this to be center as well so with this I know we get we will get an error why because we didn't use this in here so whenever you want to get a uh, number from a list you should put this and the number of number that you want to get so I want to get product number two name so that is gold and the name is uppercase uh, for G to be uppercase and uh, OLD to be lowercase so that's the name I will test the price as well for you so now let's just run it so now that we run it you can see that the, the name of the gold are here is here and we can click it and buy it so we have the nom name of product number two and this time let's just show the um, price of it so let's just copy this IP price in here we want to get the price price of number zero because we're buying number zero and now let's just run it so we can see the price of uh, product number zero is here and we get it from the real developer console account so that's it you can get whatever you want you can click it and you can see the bronze is here the price is here and we can buy it that's it for this video please if you like this video hit that subscribe button like button Thank you very much for watching. Bye.